If these viruses were to escape on account of all that melting ice, consequences could be dire. Given the lack of immunity in the modern population against these ancient pathogens, an outbreak could overwhelm medical resources and result in widespread illness. Viruses are so novel to our immune system, standard treatments might be ineffective, leading to a potential global health crisis. Scared yet? Good. My name is AJ Spatola with Most Amazing, and these are the top 10 disturbing viruses scientists found frozen in ice that could end the world. At number 10 is Astania flores. If you got the idea of bees going extinct sounded terrifying, this virus has the potential of wiping out the very flowers they're trying to pollinate. A virus recently discovered in Antarctica poses a serious threat to certain flowering plants. This virus goes after some species of angiosperms by attacking the chloroplast cells, which are crucial for photosynthesis in all plants. If this virus were to break out and infect widespread plant populations, it could cause cause catastrophic consequences. Imagine a world where certain vegetation essential for proper functioning of ecosystems suddenly disappears. This would lead to a domino effect impacting other organisms and ultimately human beings. The consequences of such a viral outbreak could lead to a mass extinction event on a scale we've never seen before. It's scary to think about because plants play a vital role in maintaining the balance of our planet's ecosystems. While right now it's been discovered frozen in place, the potential threat of Asthenia flores highlights the importance of understanding the viruses, their behavior, and how they interact with our environment. At number 9 is Caput obitus mammos, another virus among many found in that aforementioned Antarctica discovery manifests certain side effects in mammals similar to the effects of a brain disease called Kuru, infamous for how it impacts the nervous system, leading to slow neurological and physiological deterioration before claiming the life of the afflicted. But unlike Kuru, a neurological disease, this virus is an airborne virus. Now don't freak out just yet, thankfully the virus is only capable of affecting certain long extinct mammals, not humans. Yet, the danger looms. Viruses mutate quickly, evolving in just months. Alteration through genetic manipulation by scientists could render this virus a catastrophic threat to humanity. This raises concerns about the virus potentially crossing species barriers, posing a grave danger if it gains the ability to affect humans. The possibility of this virus evolving into a global threat emphasizes the importance of stringent research and caution in handling these organisms, ensuring that measures are in place to protect against any potential future outbreaks. If you're enjoying this video so far, you could support the channel by pressing like, subscribing to Most Amazing, and ringing that notification bell. I would really appreciate it. At number 8, Molivirus cyberisum. Discovered in a 30,000 year old Siberian permafrost sample alongside other viri, presents intriguing yet compelling traits. See, a size between 0.6 to 1.5 micrometers, which is super small but still qualifies as a giant virus. Notably, it's encased in a protective layer resembling a hairy sphere. When infecting amoebas, it reproduces abundantly, generating 200 to 300 new viral particles. While this virus isn't harmful to humans or animals, its existence raises alarm. The discovery of these ancient viruses together implies that dormant pathogens may be commonplace in permafrost. This finding, highlighted in a 2015 study published in PNAS, signifies a potential risk. As the Antarctic permafrost melts due to climate change or gets disrupted by human activities, the resurgence of ancient viruses might occur. The study's authors emphasize the possibility of these distant viruses once affecting ancient Siberian populations that were emerging amidst thawing permafrost layers. At number 7 is the Megavirus Mammoth, a member of the Mimivirade family which marks the groundbreaking discovery in permafrost. These viruses, initially identified in 1992, are colossal compared to others infecting amoeba. Their particle size is pretty minuscule at 0.5 micrometers and closed within a capsule of 20 identical triangular facets. The recently unearthed megavirus, like its relatives, shares these unique traits. This strain, M. mammoth, was isolated from a 20,000 year old ice and mammoth wool cluster found along the Yana Riverbank, uh, alongside other viruses. The revival of ancient viruses poses concerns. While these viruses typically target amoebas, understanding their potential impact on current life forms is crucial. The repercussions of rewaking ancient pathogens could be unpredictable and possibly catastrophic. At number six is Pithovirus mammoth, which was found in ancient mammoth wool from the frozen trunk of unearthed near the Yinvana River, alongside the other one. This pea mammoth is the second strain known from the Pithovirus family. It's a huge virus with a structure resembling a cork, but here's the kicker, these viruses 
again, only affect amoebas. Researchers discovered these viruses, calling them zombie viruses because they were retrieved from the Siberian permafrost. In a recent study, they brought back to life 13 viruses from that icy ground, with three of them all found in that same ancient mammoth wolf. Now, the concerning part is that while these viruses don't affect humans directly, they do target amoebas, and the retrieval from the permafrost raises questions that what else might lurk frozen on our planet's ice. And number five is the pandovirus mammoth. Pandovirus mammoth, the last one found in that mammoth wolf. These viruses, like the previous mammoth viruses found in the same sample, are massive and invade amoebas, being about 1.2 micrometers long and a morpho-like shape. P. mammoth poses questions about ancient viral life and its potential risk. Scientists tested this virus on amoebas, human cells, and mouse cells to ensure it couldn't affect mammalian cells. This is standard practice to understand the virus's capabilities and threats. These ancient viruses, hidden in ice for millennia, raise concerns about potential risks if released. Understanding their behavior in different conditions is crucial for preventing unforeseen consequences. The discovery of these frozen viruses is a reminder of the mysteries hidden in the past and the importance of careful research into their potential danger. At number four is the Pac-Man virus lupus, an amoeba-infecting virus which sounds something straight out of a video game, right? Scientists dug it up from the frozen gut of a Siberian wolf, which is pretty wild. They're part of the Pac-Man virus family, named after the game because of how their protein shell looks like a wide open mouth when broken. But here's the thing, these viruses could be a big deal. Pac-Man virus lupus is the third known virus of its kind, and the first one found in frozen permafrost. It's been chilling there for around 27,000 years. This specific virus is super tiny, just 0.2 micrometers in length, which means you can't even see it under a regular microscope. The thing about these viruses is, because they've been frozen for so long, we're not entirely sure how they might behave now that they're out. Studying them helps us understand their potential risks, but it's also a reminder of how fascinating and mysterious the world of viruses can be. At number three is the Kedrat virus. Deep within the icy grips of the Russian Far East, scientists made a chilling discovery. Three menacing strains of Kedrak virus lurking in the frozen landscapes. These viruses belong to the pithovirus family known for their immense size and ability to affect amoebas. Said rat virus, Lena, is the newly found strain which was extracted from the permafrost alongside Lena River. Unlike its cousins, it sports an elongated structure with peculiar cork-like formations at both ends setting it apart in the viral realm. Two other strains were snatched from frozen soil in the Kamchatka Peninsula and mud flowing into the Kolyma River, respectively. The concern is that these ancient viruses, trapped for millennia, pose a potential threat if unleashed. At number two is the Pandora virus Yodoma. Pandora virus Yodoma is a really old virus found frozen in ice. Scientists dug it up from icy spots below a lake in Russia. It's about 48,500 years old, and it infects amoeba. This is one of the 13 zombie viruses talked about in that study released in Virus's journal. Its shape is like a big egg, well, big, used relatively speaking, because it only measures one micrometer long. Scientists figure out how old these viruses are by checking out carbon decay. Radiocarbon, a type of radioactive carbon, helps them find the age of the stuff that was once alive, but for stuff that's older than 50,000 years, there's barely any radioactive carbon left, so it's tricky to accurately date those things. These ancient viruses in ice might be a big deal, but it's not like they're waking up anytime soon. Still, it's important to study them to understand how these viruses might behave in the future. Number one is the Pithovirus siberica. A gigantic virus was unearthed from ancient Siberian permafrost back in 2000. As big as a small bacterium, it belongs to the giant viruses group and is visible under a light microscope. Shaped like an oval with a cork structure on one end and a honeycomb-like grid, it's about 1.5 micrometers long. Scientists found this virus while hunting for unknown pathogens. The virus was revived by exposing permafrost samples to amoebas, its only known host. In interestingly, it poses no threat to humans or other animals. Researchers used a method where they introduced amoeba cultures to different samples, hoping to discover viruses capable of infecting amoebas. They named it Pithovirus from the Greek word pithos, denoting large containers used by ancient Greeks for storing food and wine. This discovery showcases the resilience of viruses surviving thousands of years frozen in ice. Understanding ancient viruses helps us prepare for potential threats they might pose if released into the environment in the future. And as always, if there is a virus found frozen in ice that you think I've missed here today, feel free to let me know down in the comments. This has been AJ Spatola with Most Amazing, and I'll catch you all in another video. Peace. Thank you.